We're ready. Step one. Use a particular side. Now remember, you're working with insecticides. So do read the label carefully and discuss the products with your doctor or pharmacist. Make sure you choose one that's appropriate for your child. The child has cuts or abrasions on the head, or if you're uncomfortable using insecticides, you might want to skip this step. And never use a particular side on infants, or if you're pregnant or nursing. Keep your eyes tightly closed the whole time. Not you, the child. Cover the child's face with a washcloth and shampoo over the sink, not in a tub or shower. You only want the particular side where you need it, on the child's head. Okay, so our numbers are a little down, but we're not out yet. Step two. We're going to use a lovely olive oil treatment to smother every louse that survived the particular side. Entomologists at the Harvard School of Public Health have confirmed that oil smothers and kills active head lice. Also, people find the olive oil makes knit removal easier and remoisturizes the scalp after the particular side. Part the hair and apply the oil directly onto the scalp. That feels good. Hmm. Well, sweetheart, when you feel good, mother feels good. Massage into the entire scalp, making sure to saturate the hair. Hey, kid, no fear. We got to breathe oxygen just like you, only through holes in our sides. You cover them holes and it's lights out for us, but we can hold our breath for hours. Within a few minutes, the olive oil cuts off their oxygen and the lice stop moving. But if you wash the oil off too soon, they'll come right back to life. It takes a while for them to actually die. Leave the oil on until the next morning or for at least eight hours. Use a shower cap tied in place with a bandana. Great look, Ma! When properly used, the olive oil treatment is non-toxic to humans. It can be used as a precautionary measure on the whole family whether or not you actually see signs of lice. And it makes your hair look fabulous. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, it's time to clean the environment. Vacuum any area that might have come in contact with someone's hair. You can also vacuum stuffed animals and dolls. Use a lint remover on hard-to-reach areas like car upholstery. Soak combs and brushes in hot water for 20 minutes. Wash and dry all bed linen, used towels, and recently worn clothing in a hot dryer for at least 20 minutes. Lice hate dry heat. Don't forget coats, scarves, and hats. Anything that can't be washed can be dry cleaned or put away for two weeks. But remember, lice can't live more than a couple of days off a human scalp. Save your time and energy for your child's head. Now, step four, comb out the nits. First, comb the oily hair with a regular clean comb to remove tangles. Use a good metal knit comb. Take a thin section of hair, no wider than the comb. Starting at the scalp, slide the knit comb over that section. Then, pin that section out of the way and continue around the hair. Wipe the knit comb frequently with a tissue. Knit combing takes time. It can be a good time to really talk to your child. Well, we just delivered them. Now, when you're finished combing out the knits, it's time to wash out the oil. Use a good clarifying shampoo for oily hair. Before wetting the hair, pour plenty of shampoo directly onto the head. At the Copa. It'll probably take two lathers to wash out all the oil. Step 5. Check for nits. Now after the hair has been dried, you'll need to check carefully in bright light for any nits you've missed. Starting at the base of the scalp, separate a thin section with your fingers. That's great, just like that. Now check both sides of the hair. When you find a nit, Grasp the knit 
with your fingernail and slide it all the way off the hair shaft. Deposit it carefully on a tissue. Continue all the way around the head. But chances are, you'll miss a few of our tiniest nets. You'll think you've won. Then in a couple weeks, we're back. You think you've been reinfested and start looking around for someone to blame. <laughs> We've actually been there all along. So as a precaution, repeat the oil treatment and knit combing every four days for the next three weeks and check for knits frequently. Your goal is to kill every newborn louse before it's old enough to lay more eggs. I'm off to that lonesome hair shaft in the sky. Oh. They're gonna wipe us out if this keeps up. Now for the hard part. The hard part? What do you think we've been doing here? You have to tell anyone who may have been exposed. Oh no, this is our little secret. <laughs> Remember, your child is still playing with the same children, and they could reinfest your child. <sighs> <laughs> Dorothy. Hi, yeah, it's me. Oh, this is a little embarrassing. Um, I am not quite sure how to tell you this. Oh, I've got jitters in my stomach right now. Oh, it's terrible. But I recently, very recently, found head lice on Janice. Well, aren't you wonderful for letting us know? Some people are so silly about these things. No problem. I'll get right on it. George, do we have any olive oil in the house? You are, you're just a super friend. <sighs> Thanks for hearing me. Best of luck. Let's stay in touch over this whole thing. Okay. Love to you. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Remember, you can win the battle against headlines. Keep your brushes and combs to yourself. You can share candy, but you can't share hats. Wear your hair up. Hey, you guys, tell your mom to check your head every week. Anybody can get, get head lice. If you get head lice, don't panic. They can't hurt you. Follow the battle plan. Remember, if your friend gets head lice, don't make fun of them, because you might be next.